Welcome to the Effects Loop. I'm Diaz. I'm still Scott. And we're still keeping you in the loop of the guitar community. That last still got a little passive aggressive there, didn't it? I know. It's and we're walk. still keeping you in a loop. We're still fucking here! Somebody wasn't ready to take you out of the loop. We'll do it live! Fuck it! We'll do it, we'll do it live! Oh my gosh. We should do it live. So we, we, we did it live. Uh, did he, well, who said that? Episode 10. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, what, what, who said that? What was his name? The Fox News uh, Bill guy. Bill O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly. I was thinking of him earlier. Um, Why? Because I was trying to watch... Th- we, we were thinking about maybe doing the Wings and Wings, and so... Oh, yeah. CJ made a line about hard copy. Yeah. Like, next thing you know, this is going to be on hard copy, and I was like, was that that was Bill O'Reilly. But, yeah. like, I, could, I couldn't no, think of I was who that... it was. The, oh, yeah. The, the effort We'll Do It Live was on hard copy, wasn't it? Yes, I believe so. Effort We'll Do It Live. All right. Um, let's see. Anything new from last week? Yeah, I got two new things. <laughs> do you, you paste them out? I Yes. Okay, good. So I've also got a few things. Um, so <laughs> Also, like, we're continuing. <laughs> uh, yeah, by the way, I, this was recorded two weeks ago. Um, yeah. So Paul C. Audio's Tim. It would be one up. week ago. Well. One week, one day. Eight days ago. It really depends when you're listening to this. But, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's It's been 48 years. Yeah. All right. Anyway, okay, so, so I, got, I got Tim. I have yet to plug it in. Um, really? Yeah. Dude, I just... I really want to try a Tim. Yeah, I, I did too. And I kind of like... I figured I could at least buy it and then sell it for what I bought it for. So... Yeah, um, just buy it, put buy it on your it. Cortex and uh, sell it. Exactly. And it, But what tends to happen is with overdrive pedals, I don't sell them. Like I yeah. like to keep fuzzes and overdrives around and everything else. I just kind of settle in on one thing. But... That's one thing I wanted to play around with. And then the other thing I got was yeah. the Dream 65 amp simulator from UA. U- Universal Audio. Yes. I had a really salty first experience with it. And I have not redeemed it yet. So we'll see if I, this thing winds up sticking around or not. Listen, if you want to get rid of it, I've got about six light drives um, that are just waiting for Josh to release an episode. Do you have an amp right now? Uh, I you do. Your I have Excelsior my, still, don't you? I, I still have my Excelsior. I also have like a Silvertone head that sounds like crap, but yeah, I've got, I've still got that. Right now, honestly, I've just been plugging into the laptop and messing around in GarageBand. Oh, yeah. Um, just really, really simple stuff. The PRS Waves, um, when they go on sale for like 30 bucks, is a great deal for doing yeah. amp sims. Yeah. That was my, that was I my home practice rig for a while, was just that app. I mean, honestly, like just the garage band is just so simple. I mean, I've got a few little things I jump between and I don't know. I just don't, I, cause I'm not playing for any purpose, you know? So it's just kind of, I just mess around. Hmm. I just start playing some, like playing to some backing tracks on YouTube, having a little bit of fun. Well, the nice thing about running through your computer is the ability to play with things really easily. I am all about playing with things easily. Yeah. Um, we're gonna let that one go. Um Yeah, all right. Um so speaking of easy things, no. Uh so Jim Root has a Charvel signature guitar now. Very interesting. There was a there was a moment in time where I was like, Oh whoa, is he leaving Fender? But this doesn't necessarily mean he's leaving Fender. Uh no, it doesn't it's but staying it, in the family. Uh it's yeah, Charvel's still Fender, yeah. I mean but I just a pro mod Sandemus with an HH setup and a Floydy boy. Um, yeah, I'm going to make Floydy boy a thing. By the way, is that did you start that? No, but who did? I don't know. I, I just I just said it just now, and I have no prior recollection of anything. But that doesn't mean it hasn't existed before. So is I'm that not, our wiggle stick? Maybe it's a Floydy I like boy. It. I like it. Floydy boy. I mean, I'm 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 with you. Okay. I I will follow you into the mist of Avalon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah, coming know. in around fifteen hundred bucks, which <sighs> is a little bit of a premium on top of a Sandemus. 
Yeah, I don't. Uh, what's what's different than that than, than a San Dimas? Uh, like a, the, the, the signature Dimas EMG hip pickups from Root. Okay. Uh, it's a Maybe color schemes or I don't. Limited? I can't remember. Oh, it's if got a all San Dimas has come with a. Bow? Oh, um, I don't think locking Floyd is standard on a San it, Dimas. It, I think that's an upgrade. Uh, my San Dimas had a Floyd, I believe. No? He had a San Dimas? Yeah, for like about 15 minutes. Oh. I got it and actually, I got it and uh, that's, I got it before I got the Firebird. Oh. So I bought the San Dimas and then I returned it and got the Firebird instead. Yeah. So a stock um, San Dimas Pro Mod HH Floyd Rose comes in at 1000 so this is a five hundred dollar premium over it. Yeah. Um, not realizing that oh, Sweetwater just got a new batch of machine gun Kellys in. <gasps> you already need to sell another guitar that you've already sold. I right? know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just, I no, that's that 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 guitar is definitely one down the road when I get financially uh, stable mm. um, that I want to look into. I really enjoyed that guitar. I, I really want to go. Tr- I still haven't been able to apply one. So now I'm just scrolling through Sweetwater's new uh, spot, and I, I saw one of the Rev Star um, horizontal burst ones where it's like dark at the bottom and it lightens up as it goes to the top. They still yeah. look so good and at 800 bucks. Wait, Rev Star? That's Reverend, right? Yeah, uh, that is Yamaha. Oh, Yamaha Rev Star. Sorry, I don't know why. Well, when you said Rev, I thought Reverend at first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going to say, they're uh, also advertising the S- the Silver Sky SE, and I'm like, those are in stock still? No, they're still not in stock. Wow. Yeah, that's another one that I am definitely want to mess with. I've got one. I, I highly recommend it. Yeah, well, I, I shared the video. Uh, Daniel Caesar, uh, if you haven't listened to him, if you like uh, kind of a smooth R&B, I guess, um, he's got... He's he's phenomenal, and he plays one in this video of him doing a cover of Jealous Guy, and it was just I saw it, and it, I don't know. I guess it's like I don't know. It's one of those things like I like I want it for John Mayer, but like seeing some of the other artists that play them. Uh, so as you are a continuum John Mayer guy, yeah, it's not the guitar for you. Well, yeah, I'm that's, sure that's the important thing to dis- differentiate is like a Silver Sky is not continu- continuum era John Mayer. It's uh-huh. later John Mayer stuff where it's much more like straight ahead traditional strat mm-hmm. sound. Um Well, I've got my I've got my continuum style like sound. My my uh MJT uh can get tri- there. Do you have triple shots in that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but the the one thing is is I've got uh my my squire. Um my MI MIA squire has an amazing fourth position sound. That reminds me very much of the that John Mayer continuum sound. So, anyway. I and I have the John Mayer Fender. So oh, I'm good. Right to the source. Right to the source. Though so Ian will go off on. He's like, "Well, that's not the real. The Big Dippers aren't the authentic pickup. And blah 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 blah. The black well, one is like the real one. And now this recreation are creating these blah 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 blah. You know, blah, you know, you know, you just reminded me of. Do you remember the um uh? Do you did you watch Thirty Rock? Yes. Do you remember when she was trying to get out of uh, jury duty? <laughs> like, remember he wearing does, a princess Leia outfit. Yeah. And she's like, I don't think it's fair that I can be on a jury because I can read thoughts. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that was it. That's exactly the sound I heard when he's the. Well, actually, I don't. Damn it, Ian. No, I'm not caffeinated enough to sound like Ian. All right. So, um, speaking of not sounding like Ian, Matt, Matt Heafy's third Epiphone collab has the Fishman Flows pickups, the six and seven string Les Paul custom. Matt Heafy has really. I, I will say this: he is stuck with Epiphone. And mm-hmm. brought seven string Les Pauls to much more mainstream. Than I think anybody do you remember, else has. Do you remember seeing that seven string at, at summer at Summer Nam? That was the year that we did the interview with uh, Elton. Yeah, Elton. 
Uh, they, I don't remember seeing it in that round. I did. But. Yeah, I, I, I definitely remember that. And I was like, holy crap. Um, that, yeah, that's definitely fantastic. I, li- I, li- I like him. I uh I got I became aware of him back when I used to watch Jared Dines's channel a lot. Yeah. Um, and he went on tour with them, and then like right. wound up subbing in because like I think Matt Heafy's wife went into labor early, so he had to leave the tour for a little bit, and so like a few people subbed in, and like a a singer from another band and Jared Dines subbed in, and so they handled guitar and vocalist duties. Nice. Um, yeah. I I still find the way he. W- so one, this man has immaculate posture, um, but he has the like that crazy, um, like dual shoulder strap setup thing that he does. Yeah, I still think that looks crazy. Um, not as crazy as a twelve hundred dollar Epiphone, which is how much these things cost. Yeah, well, I mean they have Fishman the Fishman 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 and it's a seven string Les Paul. Yeah, I mean they're sign and it's signature. So like, I mean, I'm really so I've been uh, Andrew, uh, a, f- a friend. Uh, he's repainting my telly, so it was butterscotch blonde, and it's going to a, a lilac. Um, mm, that'll look good. And and I'm gonna have uh, his wife is uh, gonna wood burn or do some sort of rose, and it's it'll look it's it's gonna look great. Um, and we've been talking about. Uh, I need to put pickups in it and everything. I need, I'm, I'm pretty much rebuilding this guitar. And uh, I'm thinking about doing the uh, Gristles. Oh, the, the Fluence. Uh, the Fluence of Greg Cocker. That's what's Howard. in the um, Abasi. Yeah. That they came out with the other. Yeah. They're crazy. I mean, the Fishman Fluence are crazy. Pretty yeah. good. Um. Do we have the, anything more? Oh, one last thing to say on the Heafies. Yeah. Lefties. They're doing a lefty version this round. Mm-hmm. That's a big deal. Yeah. All you Southpaws, we, we stand with you. Not not with you, like kind of behind you, but like. We're going to stand beside you. And then like we realized like my right arm would be up against your left arm. And it would just be yeah. weird. So then we had to like, we all got up. If, I, I just we, sat at a different table. I just figured well, that was easier. I have to sit on the other side of you because if we write like this, our elbows bump. Yeah. And I'm not about that. So my sister's left-handed and like we had to, that was always a thing. Like if we were sat that way, we just like, we'd bump into each other and then like, you know, stand on your side and like, we'd just be little idiots oh god oh and if you have to share an armrest golly forget about it so they screw that yeah they learned to that was definitely something that we were conscious of in my family is how to sit us properly you know what also needs to be seated properly jen (laughs) jellico's new xl dc xt and ss xt semi hollow electrics I hate that name. Excel DC sounds like an Adobe and Microsoft product rolled into one. I I hate this in general. <laughs> you, I mean, you hate Dean Joko as as a policy, but do you hate the headstocks on these because they're tamer? I didn't even look at them. I'll be honest with you. They're they're more normal, but they still have the crazy tu- Art Deco tuners and truss rod cover. <sighs> That size says right. these are yeah, a hard no from Diaz. Horrible. Um uh it's not horrible. It doesn't have the weird like horn thing, so um Duncan 59 pickups were the real big selling point of these, which seems like a weird pickup to be bragging about. That seems like such a traditional thing that's been out there forever. But... Yeah, we got Duncan 59s. Okay, so does every other one every other company right are now. Are you going to throw a Duncan JB in the bridge too? Oh my god. Oh, um, I uh, think that it's I can't be uh, on the jury because I can read minds. I still, I've been watching Thirty Rock a lot lately. Um, you know, I've been watching Schechter introducing two new half electric, half acoustic semi hollow models. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. It's uh, updated versions of the CE. Or C1EA, which was, I mean, when we were in high schools, when that guitar came out first, back in the the first sort of round of like Schechter's, um, yeah, like real like 
bloom era um yep. new cutaway design or it's it's an updated cutaway <laughs> design so no longer an f hole uh fishman power bridge 24 frets locking you're tutors. no longer an f hole neat uh, passive Schechter, <laughs> uh pasadena pickups passive passive was that nice little neat that you said that was fantastic i'm sorry that deserves some recognition scott okay oh my gosh now that i know how hurtful it is for you to uh hear me say that wow what okay yeah yeah so well, it's not i didn't realize the original c1 ea came out came in at 2149 wow that was an expensive what? guitar um these are 1500 dollars um Ew. oh sorry that's what they originally were going to cost and now they have them down at fifteen hundred dollars still fairly expensive uh for a Schecter, but yeah. you know again i'm i'm in 2002 <laughs> prices in my head so the Schecters aren't seven hundred dollars anymore you know what else isn't seven hundred dollars Gibson unveiling the limited edition Dave Mustaine Flying V EXP Rust in Peace signature model. Uh, mark my words, Gibson will start selling tickets to guitar announcements in the next five years. You think so? Oh, that's such a like Gibson fanboys would totally pay to be at a Gibson unveiling in the Gibson garage. Well, yeah. th- I would. I mean, I would do that if if it was they're releasing an artist and the artist was there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but how much would you pay? Uh, hundred bucks at the most. All right, add a zero behind it. That's what Gibson will sell it for. You think? Oh, dude, because yeah, they're just people will pay that. But yeah, I can. I mean, that's it. Totally makes sense. That's what the Gibson Garage is there for. Is for press events and all those kind of things. So it would fit this hypothetical scenario that I'm inventing in my head. Yeah. I prefer being a low pathetical s- scenario. Are you proud of that one? Nope. Not <laughs> one. bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little disappointed in myself. I'll be honest with you. Are, are, are you uh, proud of this color? No. On this Dave Mustaine? I, I don't hate it. I don't like it. I, I mean, I'm indifferent about it. I feel like it, people will like it. For $3,000, I'm not a fan of it. <sighs> I don't know. They're making I'm just so... like I'm already tired of Dave Mustaine guitars from Gibson. And like They're yeah. just coming out with this stuff. Like We've got another like probably 20 years of like three Dave Mustaine limited edition models from here on out. Oh, thank God that just got copied over because I thought there was a second Dave Mustaine guitar. I was like, son of a bitch. Why? Better. Yeah, The links can't hurt you I, now. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to talk about Dave Mustaine. Don't worry. Dave Mustaine don't, in your don't worry. We have another Gibson artist to talk about. Which it's is just a creep. Adam Jones has no officially bear. confirmed that his Epiphone Silver Burst Let's Talk custom is coming. Um, I, I feel like I feel like Tom should buy me one. <laughs> <laughs> just because he owns the Gibsons, I, mean, I, I feel like he should just buy me one as a consolation prize. Like, here you go, bud. I, uh, <laughs> you know, remember when the the original one came out and a bunch went missing that were supposed to go to Sweetwater. Yeah. I wonder if those ever showed up again. <laughs> if anyone been to Tom's house since then, didn't Tom move since then? Coincidence? I think not. He has been hiding out outside of the country for a little while. Tom, yeah, that's was true. That, was that the perfect like... heist? Is he now living, you know, in Vienna because no, no extradition? He's like he's like the George Clooney of guitars. He's like Ocean's Eleven. Kelly's Kelly's Four. I don't know. He doesn't have that many friends. So bring that number down. Oh, uh, all right. So I'm I'm guessing. I'm assuming there's no price yet. No, or a date, but they're coming. Yeah. You know, it's also coming. 
Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, go on. Um, another Charvel has thing. another six uh, Pro Mod guitars that will be coming this autumn. Um, I feel like someone at I feel like someone at Charvel just figured out Photoshop. <laughs> it was just like, here you go. We're gonna do all this now. I don't know. Some of these are pretty out there. Um, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a. I do like that purples definitely with the Strat style uh, pickup. Like that. That's cool. Yeah. Um, the uh, wood one. Have, have you have you pro tried pronouncing the name that, whose signature that is? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go down. We're gonna see if I can do this. It's the first one. Marco. Uh, Marco Sfogli? At Sfogli? Good guess. Good guess. What is it? I don't know. Well, then, then don't say good guess like I got it wrong. I could be right. Probably not, but I could be. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like it. I wonder. It's a, he's a prog rock. Um, he plays with one of the Dream Theater guys. Uh grand fromage isn't that isn't fromage cheese yep grand fromage big cheese yeah just be the grand fromage there you go dexter yep that's where i learned it from yeah his is cheaper or his is even more expensive than uh jim roots at wow. 1600 um there's also the pro mod socal style which is a uh typical strat standard strat uh style. it's not Looking. quite a three-tone burst but it's 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 got that feel yeah with, um, a, with the with a uh what is it what do you call it floydy boy yeah floydy boy on it yeah the floydy boy on it floydy boy on it hsh uh and that's definitely gonna be this episode's title isn't it floydy boy floydy yeah. boy uh the pro mod sandima style one hh fre ash sunburn i don't yeah. dig this no, I'm, I'm, I don't like if <sighs> they already did something like this before, didn't they? Or another brand did. And I oh, they, they do that with the, the, the neon grain filler and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate it. Hate it. Yeah. Um, this next one looks like, uh, it should be being played in a strip club. Uh, you've got the Sin City Sparkle. I mean, it looks like hers guitar. Didn't her signature Strat have that same kind of thing? Um, yeah, but a Strat's a little bit more classy than this. Cause it, because it doesn't have a guard yeah and this one's kind of naked that's why it's a stripper thing all right all right so you then you got that uh, well, if, you, if you play this will just glitter be everywhere for like forever is that like, pretty sure, i'm pretty sure the do? glitter is underneath the clear coat oh i think it should i think glitter guitars should still like just <laughs> like you play a glitter get backed guitar you walk away and just where it hits you on your body whether you play on your belly or you play on your on in your waste area um i'm trying to be classy you just have glitter all over it just that area that's how glitter guitar should work yeah i i so decree it um okay. then you got a wooden one that looks like the uh who's that one guy yeah the one uh that one guthrie yeah it looks like the govern yeah guthrie govern signature and then frank bellow signature <laughs> base is straight Slayer, up, isn't it? um like Anthrax, sorry. A, a little bit of old school telly bass kind of a vibe. Kind of has that Getty Lee thing. And it's got the, the Getty Lee vibe. Yeah. A, a little mix of the two. And it's a PJ yeah. configuration. I could see that being popular. At the same time, I can see somebody being really offended by it. Because yeah. people get offended about things. Yeah. All right. Let's keep moving. Because I'm, I'm, it's hitting me. Um, so they've got a Malcolm Young signature guitar coming out. Another one. Oops. Uh oh. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not. Um, and a two hundred dollar parlor guitar coming out from Gretsch. Yeah, the Nigel Hendroff uh, signature Penguin will also be discussed a bit. Um, oh. Don't love it. Don't love the look of it. But I can understand why people I, would. I like it. <laughs> and I, I always love the banjo arm guard. It looks like uncomfortable, but yeah. I don't know. Uh, there's a new electromatic double jet, um, three new versions of it. Um, yeah. Oh, I like the Bigsby colors. left-handed and a stop tail version. Um, they got this very key lime colored one that I quite like. Uh, I like the blue too. That deep blue. I like um, this. 
the Streamliners got two new variants, Stop Bar and uh, um, Bigsby. And then they've got uh, the in the Ritz collection, they've got the Jim Dandy, which is a flat top acoustic um, X bracing and a darker frontier satin finish that I quite like. Mm hmm. And then they have a limited edition version of it in Nocturne Blue, which I also like a lot. I like the looks of these, but I think I'd look ridiculous playing a 12 fret parlor acoustic guitar. It would look yeah. so small on me. But at $169, it's not an expensive guitar, so I doubt it will be that good. Um, yeah. How expensive is the Nigel Hendroff going to be? Uh, probably 3500 $3, Three three grand. Okay, yep. I, I overshot. Yeah, so you can get one of these, and then you can buy a Jackson amp, and then you can buy some Jackson pedals, and build your perfect Nigel Hendroff. Uh, rig. You gotta you gotta get your dreads longer though. Yeah, Time I was a up. little disappointed. So I, I did I tell you I went to I went to a Hillsong concert. That might have been yeah. where I got COVID from. The timing oh, really? actually works out, and also that's probably a room full of unvaccinated people. So. <laughs> <laughs> there's a good chance that's where i got it um mm -hmm. but uh nigel hendroff was not playing i was a little disappointed i don't think he tours with them anymore no he probably is at home taking a nap that's what i'd be doing i think he does like writing and like collaboration or something i, I think he still does stuff with hillsong doesn't he yeah and i think he does a lot of session work too yeah that would not surprise me like how like Stu G became a big session player after Yes. You stop playing Delirious. You know what I'm going Delirious for? What's that? Some all mahogany model uh, Acoustasonics. Yeah? Yeah, they look like burnt pancakes. They still look like burnt pancakes. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't hate them. I like them. I, I, the Acoustasonic has yet to click with me. I've yet to play one. i yet to want to play one. Yeah. Yeah, they just don't appeal to me, man. I don't know. Has 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 the hype on these finally worn out? Or I can you actually buy them? I think you can. Okay, because like for a while there, they just were sold out. Like you could not get them. So yeah, I don't know. So both the Jazzmaster and the Telecaster style. Actually, the Jazzmaster style is the one that I actually like the most because I think the offset arm, the arm carve, actually looks good on an offset. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't like the one at the bottom where it's the bourbon bit, the natural finish. Yeah. Where it's just like there's an outline of a jazz master on a different guitar. It looks like they didn't cut along the lines mm -hmm. <laughs> that they laid out for it is kind of what it looks like. Yeah. All right. Well, Epiphone refreshes the bb king lucille line with a limited edition run of the bone white and cherry finishes bone white being european market and the cherry finish being strictly u.s market so lucille's went out of production for a while yeah because there was like some things with like bb king's estate arguments so it's good to see <laughs> them back um i don't know i don't really <laughs> The Lucille is just such like tuxedo black is just such a thing that I associate mm -hmm. it with it that see it in cherry just makes it look like a three thirty five with gold hardware. Yeah. The white looks better, in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, that's all I gotta say yeah, on that. Sorry. How much are they? Peons. I haven't seen a price. Nine hundred forty nine dollars. Really? That's it? Yep. It's not bad. I mean, it's not a U.S. made guitar still, but yeah. I would rather, I want the bone white. I'd want the white one. I like the white one better. Well, I mean, you could you could still get one. You just have to buy yeah. it through a European vendor, so you'd have to go to like Anderton or Toman. Yeah. <laughs> and then pay shipping. But you probably would be able to. Well, they're they're expensive when, enough that you might not be able to dodge duty and taxes because they're over four hundred dollars. So I don't know. That's that's the fun part about buying European like pedals. Um, yeah. Little known secret: you can buy pedals from Andertons and you don't pay sales tax on them 
unless they get flagged by border patrol and then you have to pay duty on them but that doesn't happen often if your purchase is under x amount of money and so therefore they just fly under the radar and you don't have to pay taxes on it yeah yeah that might be how i got a universal audio amps and pedal for like 330 bucks very nice also the pound is not doing very strong according compared with the dollar right now so yeah and so when you go on a lot of those websites you'll see vat like already included in the price and you have to go into your cart put a u.s shipping address and then the vat will come off the price and then you can see what your real price would be and then you have to figure that out so it's a little bit it's a it's a bit of work and you get there's delays and things but um something to consider if you're thinking about a higher end like a like if you're like, yeah, I'm going to go buy a timeline brand new. That might be something worth looking at. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, what's really worth looking at might be this week in Harley Benton. Harley Benton. So we got a new fusion three HSH and HH option. Um, guitar, uh, roasted maple flamey boy. Uh, no Floydy boy. That looks like a, just a standard two. Uh, oh no no there's a floydy boy on the hh floydy boy um it's probably not really a floyd right probably not floyd rose 1000 yeah so it is Hmm. that's an import but yeah uh i didn't see prices on these but imagine they'll be in the 300 to 400 dollar range Yeah, probably. That's our first this week in Harley Benton in a while. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. So, did I get the uh, Lucille Bone delivered from the UK? About $1,020. That's uh, Toman? Uh, no, Peach Guitars. Toman didn't have it on their website. So I just kind of Googled for it. All right. Anywho. Well, that was two episodes in one sitting. How's it feel? The weight's been lifted off my shoulders. They is so happy. Um, <laughs> call back. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, thanks for listening. Um, we definitely tried to stay awake for the last half of this episode. Um, I had no problems with that. Yeah, I did. I've been up since 4 a.m. So. Yeah. I probably have slept more in the last week than I ever have, but I still was tired the entire time. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Well. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. We will see you guys next week. Go to patreon.com slash the effects loop and give us money. Go to the effects loop.com and there's other links on there to other cool things. Also has a link where, to the place where you can give us money. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Scott, do you have anything you'd like to add at the end? I usually close out the episode. And I don't even ask you if you want to say anything. Wow. Just, just I feel really honored and respected by this moment right now. And uh, also just want to say that there's a new brand that is on my radar that they sell at Andertons called Baum, B-A-U-M. And they got some cool designs in here. I'm looking at a wing, Baum Wingman and a Baum Conqueror or Conqueror. Yeah. And I'm really kind of digging them. I'm, always, I'm just going to text message this to you. Uh, I'm going to put it in the chat. I'm going to put it in the, uh, I'm going to put it in the thread. Yeah, put it in the thread. And well, you can also- on the script right now, you, you can see a link. Oh, I was about to say you can send it into the group chat, which you can join if you give us money. Yay. All right. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. At least literally just walked in. Too, so. Here, hide this. Hide this. Oh, sorry. I was, Don't look at I wasn't, I wasn't podcasting. I was...
dictionary. Why is negativity always drawing our picture? And we visualize love, energize lives together, together. We undefeated. A plan to make well as no gloves needed. When we weed into the mindset of achieving and believing in a community that remains happy. Never after, the world should be one. Hate annihilated. Every heart is one. Love again. So, don't buy the hate.